If you're anything like me, you know there's no better way to party than in the comfort of your own home. But for those of you who have ever attempted this, you also know how tedious and stressful it can be, especially when it comes to preparing your bar, the most important part of any party, if you ask me. I'm Lindsay with BarProducts.com, and today I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on all the essential bar products needed for your home bar, along with setup instructions to ensure that the drinks flow smoothly, whether you'll be hiring a professional bartender or your guests will be serving themselves. So during my time spent here at the Bar Products headquarters, I've discovered a few killer new products I've been dying to share with you. First, these cap-on four spots. Let me tell you, I freaked when they showed me these things because not only are they cheap at only 69 cents a dozen, but they pour with the very same professional accuracy as the 285.50 pour spots, which you would see at most high-end bars. Now at less than six cents a piece, you can choose to just toss them right along with your empty liquor bottles instead of pulling them out and saving them. And if at the end of the night you have leftover liquor in your bottle, you don't have to worry about yanking out the pour spouts, cleaning them, and putting the caps back on a haul of bottles. You get to skip the first two steps and move right over to popping the cap over the cap on. Hence the name cap on. Ingenious, right? Now in no way are you limited to the cap ons. Bar Products has a ton of different options when it comes to pour spouts. They come in all different colors, sizes, and price points. Just pick whichever works best for you. Okay. This brings me to my next bar essential. Here's another product that I had never seen before, but I'm now bringing with me to every private party I bartend. It's the V-Rod bottle opener. A little twist on the traditional bottle opener because the other side is designed to help pop out the pour spouts from the liquor bottles. And for those of you who have ever had to sit and fight with a jam pour spout for five minutes, I know you'll understand the beauty of this thing. Not to mention, the V-Rod can even pop out the cap on pour spouts with ease just in case you want to recycle them. So along with your liquor and beer, you're definitely going to get a few bottles of wine for your party. Therefore, you'll need some kind of wine key. We have for many different types of wine keys at Bar Products, but I'm going to suggest the double lever corkscrew. I find it to be the more user-friendly, durable option. But of course, you can go with the winged corkscrew or whatever you happen to prefer. Now over here, you'll see my suggestions for the basic liquor, wine, and beer to stuck up on when planning your grocery list. Any of these bottles can be switched out for your favorite brands. These just happen to be my favorites. It's always a good idea to talk to your guests prior to purchasing your booze and get an idea of what their drink choices are. Another way you can go about this is to ask everyone to bring a bottle of liquor or a case of beer of their choice to share. It makes a little less expensive for you as the host and also ensures that you'll have something that everyone will enjoy. However, it's customary for the host to provide all necessary mixers, which will bring us to our next products. Juices like cranberry, OJ, and sweet and sour mix are the most commonly used behind any bar, so to make them a little more user-friendly and accessible, it's a great idea to purchase a few of these juice pourers. It makes it so much easier to pour your mixer with accuracy and helps to eliminate all the mess from pouring straight from the large containers. The great thing is that they, these are available in many different styles, colors, and sizes. You decide which fits your party's needs. For the less commonly used mixers, such as grapefruit and pineapple, I recommend just purchasing these little small cans. That way you don't have to worry about wasting a ton of juice at the end of the night. But it's really up to your guest preferences. If Malibu pineapple is a big trend among your friends, you might want to consider providing another juice pour for pineapple juice. Okay, so you obviously have to have Coke for all those Captain and Coke drinkers out there. I don't recommend buying two liters. They spill too easily and are hard to pick up, especially after drink number three or four. So instead, I like to pick up 12 packs of Coke, Diet Coke, and Sprite. Now for other mixers like tonic, ginger ale, soda, I usually just pick up a few one liter bottles. Chances are you won't go through enough to pick up an entire 12 pack. As an added tip, pre-open the tonic and soda waters slowly before your guests arrive, as they tend to explode when you open them quickly. Don't say I didn't warn you if you forget. Okay, so Red Bull and sugar-free Red Bull have become extremely popular but are not cheap. You have the option as to whether or not you want to provide them for your guests. If you decide to, pick up a few four packs of both regular and sugar-free as they're equally popular. Okay, so what good is a drink without a fresh garnish? Limes, lemons, cherries, and olives are the bar staples. They so can get all crazy and cut up pineapples and oranges. For this bar setup, I'm going to stick with the essentials. Even though I only have four garnishes, I'd like to stick with a six-piece fruit container. That way I have two containers for both the lemons and limes that I run through a little more quickly, and one for cherries and olives. This particular garnish center is super convenient and easy to clean at the end of the night. However, it's another product that Bar Products offers in several different styles, colors, and sizes. It's all about which one fits you and your party best. Now, to look like a true pro, no bar is complete without a three-tiered salt rimmer. Margarita drinkers will love you for this. The top tier includes a sponge that you commonly soak with lime juice, and the bottom two tiers have been filled with salt and sugar. Bar Products has a bunch of these really fun flavored and colored salts and sugars that you should definitely check out. 
With the three-tiered salt rimmer, we traditionally put salt in the middle tier and sugar in the lower, but I would not assume that your guests know this and would definitely suggest that you label which is which. Nothing is worse than going to take a lemon drop shot and realizing that there's salt on the rim instead of sugar. Ugh. Okay, so now onto the nitty gritty. In front of me are the must-haves when planning out your bar setup. Every bar needs mixing tins. I recommend having one 28 ounce tin for mixing basic cocktails such as a Cosmo, a 30 ounce shaker tin, also called a Mako shaker, which is great when preparing a round of shots for a group of people, and also caps the 28 ounce shaker. And a cheater tin, which is 16 ounces, and can also cap the 28 ounce tin, so that you can shake your cocktails. If planning on creating a self-service bar, I also highly suggest buying a three-piece shaker tin, which is a little more foolproof way of creating a cocktail for those guests who are rookies behind the bar. You can get as creative and personalized as you wish with your shakers. In the bartending world, your tins are an expression of who you are. Mine are hot pink. Bar Products has every color in the rainbow available, as well as printed, powder-coated, vinyl, and even the option to customize your very own. Another important tool when preparing a cocktail is your traditional four-prong strainer. Even this can be bought to match your tins. This nifty tool is used in conjunction with your shaker tin, so that when you pour your apple martini into the glass, it's chilled, but there's no stray ice cubes floating around. Especially important when preparing chilled shots, you don't want your guests choking on ice cubes. Definitely a mood killer. Now, even the best bartender spills, so a spill mat is a great way to prevent a river of alcohol from flowing across your table. It also creates a rubber gripped area for drinks to be prepared. I also like to have one or two of these small bar mats to put my tins down when not in use. This way, there's a designated area for guests to find the tins, and it's especially important when on a scratchable surface such as granite. So, if you're not hiring a professional bartender, I highly suggest providing your guests with a jigger. This way they can measure how much alcohol they're pouring into their glass and ensure that they're creating a tolerable drink. There are several different types of measured jiggers available. I suggest the most commonly used though. It's the 1.25 ounce by 0.75 ounce size. So you're covered when it comes to alcohol, mixers, and bar tools. There are only three things missing. One, what good is a drink without ice? Remember when purchasing your ice and ice bucket that bigger is always better. I chose this ice bucket because it holds a few bags of ice at a time. To keep things sanitary, I like to provide my guests with an ice scoop. This prevents them from digging their glass into the ice and having a chip in there. Never a good thing. A calculation I use when planning my ice order is to do one pound per guest if it's taking place indoor and two pounds per guest if it's taking place outdoor to compensate a little bit for the ice melting. Now, you won't get very far without glassware. Bar Products carries this phenomenal glassware line called Barconic that is incredibly inexpensive without the cheap imitator appearance. They carry both high quality glassware and durable plastic cups in all different sizes, which can be a little confusing to the average consumer. So I've gone ahead and already laid out three sizes I think are most important to stock up on. The three ounce shot glass for shots and shooters, the 10 ounce rocks glass for single liquor drinks, and the 16 ounce tall mixing glass for drinks such as margaritas, Long Islands, and even for the DD drinking Red Bull. If you're planning a more intimate party, 15 guests and under, it's a nice touch to provide them with glassware. However, if you're expecting 20 or more people at your party, I would highly suggest that you go with plastic over glassware. It makes cleanup so much easier and is definitely the less expensive route. Now that you have your glassware, ice, alcohol, mixers, bar tools, and fruit, all that's left to do is make up your drink, pop in a straw, grab a napkin from your caddy, and say a toast. Bars are nice, clubs are fine, and nothing is better than a good glass of wine. But to kick off your shoes and host your own bash, now that is a memory that will always last. So take down some notes, head to our site, we'll make sure you do it upright. Time for a toast, time for a beer. Barproducts.com. Your party starts here. I'm Lindsay with Barproducts.com. Till the next time. Cheers.